Greetings, folks, and welcome to Vinyl Therapy Sessions, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Iron Studios Minico, PX San Diego, 2023 edition. I am your host, Coco Smooth. And yes, folks, today I'm going to showcase to you um, this, uh, my first time ever getting Iron Studios, and it looks like as I did a little bit more research... I may have jumped in a really bad rabbit hole because a lot of their stuff is good. And I mean, really gosh damn good. Yeah. Like, anyways, let's, let's get to it. First, let's go with Leo. Um, let me uh, <laughs> raise it up a little bit so y'all can see it. And I'll even move these guys for a minute, for a second, so that y'all can get to see the box. I'm going to do the open portion next. Ironside Studios, right? Iron Studios, Ironside Iron Studios, Leonardo. Uh, yeah, looks good. Looks great. Worlds to collect. PX San Diego 2023 limited to 3K. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like so far. Next, we're doing the short ones. These guys, I imagine, are the front part of the of the setup. Uh, Raphael. Raphael. Iron Studios. It's back. Version 2. Get them all. I don't know why anyone wouldn't get the whole set. It's just so lame to have single turtles. <laughs> but that's just me. That's just me. Nah, I think it's all. <laughs> I think it's lame. <laughs> I think everybody thinks it's lame. How are you going to get just Donatello without the rest? All right. Raise the roof. There you go, Donatello, Iron Studios, yeah, yes, with his bow staff, right, PX San Diego 2020 exclusive, and the last of the tall ones, and this is probably my most favorite one other than Leonardo, is the Michelangelo one, because this is the first time I've ever seen him without a gosh dang pizza in some capacity, thank goodness. I was getting tired of all of that pizza, to be honest. I think the Funko Soda is the only thing he had that didn't have a pizza either. But yeah. This is cool. This is going to be so cool. All right. So the next portion will be the opened uh, portion. And this is what they look like outside of the package. This is pretty cool. Man. Um, I don't know how much. I just like the way these things look. These are these are great. The only thing I may have a little bit of an issue with is the the pose for Raph. It just seems so out of place. <laughs> just seems so. Uh, I'm going this way. <laughs> or is he is he gonna feel, you know look back? I, I don't I don't I don't know. It's just kind of bizarre that they have him looking to the to his left. So. I figured that the only reason to look to his left, left is if he had, you know, Leo there. So, <laughs> or, I don't know, maybe it seems so out of place to look, just kind of look <laughs> to the left for no reason, right? I mean, Y'all tell me, folks, right? Just, <laughs> um, yeah. So let's first start off with Donnie single. All right. It raise it up a little bit for y'all. So yeah, here's Donnie. This is what it looks like on top of the rooftop. Pretty cool. Yeah, the detailing on this thing is really cool. Then let's look at uh, probably my favorite one, Mikey. The first time he looked kind of intimidating in his life <laughs> that I could think of. Yeah, pretty cool. I think, yeah, let me uh, lift this up a little bit. Yeah. Let me raise it up for y'all so you can 
better see what it looks like. There you go. Yeah, look at that. Whirling dervish of a nunchucks. Nunchucks. Ah, fellow checker, eh? Yeah, kind of cool. Uh, notice that they don't have any of the letters of their name on the belts at all. They'll probably have a version of all of these in all red, like the classic uh, turtles. Pretty cool. This is the one guy I probably, like I said, yeah, I love Raph, but man, I don't know. He just seems a lot of place facing the right. They could have had him face in front instead. But okay, what else? We got Leonardo. Pretty cool. He's got his uh, katana. I like it. So yeah, this is what the bottoms look like. Version 2. Cairo Scuro Studios. Marco Mauricio Hume. Hum, hum, by the artist. Sculptor. But either way, yeah, these things are great. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm about this. This thing is cool. Yeah, another one of those... Uh, can of worms that I should not have opened because, uh, yeah, I find myself liking. I did a little bit more research and started finding like I like a lot of the stuff they have. I might even end up getting the other Ninja Turtle set, which is vastly different from. Okay, not vastly, but different enough from from this set in general. So yeah, the problem is I don't know where I would display these because of the way they're structured. I don't know. Does that make sense to y'all? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, what sequence makes the most sense? You know, Th this is the this is a little bit of the the problem in these things. You know, like okay, and you can't even have them fully together together in this sequence because you know, Michael. Hit you in the head with his uh, nunchucks, right? So, or we could do it that way. <laughs> but no, you can't even do that either. <laughs> yeah, but you get the picture. Or, you know how do how how does one display these things? Well, either way, I'm gonna find a way. But yeah, this this thing looks cool. All right, folks, that's all I got for this segment of Vinyl Therapy Sessions. The uh, Oh, wait, you know what? Before I say all that, yeah, the, the material of this thing is pretty solid, too. feels pretty good. Um, I think it's PVC. I'm not sure. But I do know that it feels, it doesn't feel bad, right? It doesn't feel cheap. All right, folks, that's all I got for this segment of Vinyl Therapy Sessions. The... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Iron Studios, Minico, uh, TMNT, SDCC 2023 exclusives. I'm your host, Coco Smooth. And until next video, folks, ciao.